Well, in addition to renewing its effort to reclaim the stolen pieces, the Gardner Museum is presenting a new exhibit reflecting on their absence and their value. WGBH arts editor Jared Bowen has more. Shortly after the Gardner Museum theft, director Anne Hawley received a call from French artist Sophie Cal, who counted the stolen Vermeer as one of her favorite works of art. Cal wanted to document the sudden absence that pervaded the museum. I, I don't think I brought emotion. I, maybe I, I brought a diversion. It just seemed that she had the grit and also could turn loss into some kind of work of art. In Last Scene, which has been shown around the world and now appears at the Gardener for the first time, Cal asked museum staffers to describe the stolen works. The idea was to do a portrait of the missing painting through people's memories. And I picked one phrase. I tried to make a portrait with not too many repetitions that was flu fluid, that was poetic, that works as a text. You can imagine what that did for people. And also, just she's such an interesting person. So it took people's minds off for a moment what was going on. Roughly 20 years later, the museum invited Cal back. In What Do You See?, she again confronts absence, this time made even more profound by the museum's decision in 1995 to rehang the stolen painting's frames. Here, the artist posed questions to a variety of museum staff and visitors as they contemplated the missing works. I didn't ask them to describe the painting. I asked people, what do you see? And obviously the staff members, they still see a Vermeer or a Rembrandt, but some of the visitors saw uh, an empty frame, a tapestry on the wall, a hall, and something they didn't understand why it was empty. One of the most haunting images features Holly herself, caught in reflection. 23 years of loss, staring back at museum patrons. What's it like for you to see the portrait the picture where we see you. That was shocking to me because I didn't know that I would be reflected. I'm sort of staying away from it. I don't know. I really, I, I, when I saw it, I just turned away. Um, I, I was very surprised. And I asked her last night if she knew that she caught that reflection. And she said, yes. And I said, oh, why didn't you tell me? I just, you know, would have preferred to have been anonymous. It's poignant, though. Holly is now forever remembered, just as she wants the paintings to be. As mentioned, the FBI is asking for the public's help tracking down the missing art, and they're offering a $5 million reward.